The leadership of the House of Representatives has defended the 134 standing committees constituted by the Speaker, Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, to uh, run the affairs of the Green Chamber. The defense by the House leadership came at the weekly briefing by the House spokesman following criticisms by Nigerians over what they regard as the over-bloated nature of the standing House committees, which is standing presently at 134 from 109 at the Ninth Legislative Assembly. The spokesman of the House, Honorable Akin Rotimi, and the chairman House Rules and Business quickly debunked the claim, stating that the composition of the standing committees was made in the wisdom of the speaker, for which he must be commended. I will not talk very much about what you insinuated about political considerations for creating committees, but I can assure you that the, all the committees that have been created have been created in line with the present realities that we're facing in the country at this time, and why it is important that we have, um, you know, you know, um, the right sort of structures to be able to attend uh, to these issues of oversight. And like I said again, um, there are no issues of overlaps. For us, we want to ensure that we have seamless engagement with uh, the executive, and that we don't have a situation where you have multiple people, uh, multiple honorable members, or multiple committees, um, you know, having to interface unnecessarily with. Um, ministries, departments, and agencies. So those things have been clearly um, sorted out and clearly stated uh, in the House rules. Uh, Clara, from day one, so that if you have a, a, a parliamentary group of uh, Sweden, for example, you are an automatic member of the Foreign Affairs Committee. So anybody who is not a leader in the uh, parliamentary friendship groups is not a member of the Foreign Affairs Committee. So it's it's a normal thing that goes on in Parliament ordinarily, but Mr. Speaker has made it more explicit and uh, clear and carrying people uh, along. That's what I would like to add. So it's not just 134 committees, 70 uh, uh, friendship groups. They're all intertwined, and it's all aimed at unity of purpose, achieving the aims, uh, the legislative agenda of the 10th Assembly. And Mr. Speaker should be commended for that. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.